are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, November 27th, Black Friday. I'm James Spann. We'll have some rain around later today and tonight. A big rain event, maybe some strong storms Sunday and Sunday night, and then we turn cold. Here's the upper air look this morning. Got a trough hanging back over the southwest United States and a stalled surface front over South Alabama. Near that front, we've got some showers early this morning at 444 a.m., uh, generally between Montgomery and Phoenix City, Columbus, Georgia. Otherwise, things are quiet. There is a dense fog advisory for South Alabama that will be dissipating by mid-morning around the nation. Pretty quiet to start the day. Winter weather advisories for parts of New Mexico. Got a marginal risk of severe weather later today and tonight from South Texas into South Mississippi with the wave coming on the front. Uh, maybe some thunder in Alabama. No severe weather expected later today or tonight. Tomorrow, no severe weather expected. Most of Alabama dry. And then Sunday, a marginal risk from the Gulf Coast over to the South Atlantic Coast. For Alabama, this is basically for areas south of a line from Linden to Prattville to near Lafayette. Areas in darker green. That's level one out of level five. That could be a few storms with small hail, gusty winds, an isolated tornado. Not totally out of the question, but for most of the state, just a big old soaking Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. More about that in just a moment. Tropics as a little feature out there well to the southeast of Bermuda, the Hurricane Center with a 40% chance of that developing. This is the five-day outlook. Also a little feature that's west of Portugal. These are junk systems that would never, ever get a name years ago. Um, and again, if anything gets a name out there, it will not affect the United States or any landmass. So let's go right to the Modeling the GFS, the 06C run at 3 o'clock today. You can see the upper low back over the southwest. And again, uh, a wave forms on the front with rain and storms increasing from southeastern Texas over through Louisiana, south Mississippi, and southwest Alabama. And then by tonight, that wave could spread some rain as far north maybe as Interstate 20, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston. I think the Tennessee Valley stays dry. There's just not much moisture to work with, and this is not a very dynamic feature. So the bottom line is we'll see clouds increasing today, maybe some scattered light rain late this afternoon or tonight, the better rains over the southern third of the state. And again, no severe weather. Tomorrow, that wave is on by. The front gets a nudge back to the south, and it should be a pretty nice day for most of the state. And again, there might be an isolated shower down over uh, far south Alabama, but for the Northern half of the state should be a mostly sunny day with highs in the mid-60s. A perfect day for the Iron Bowl in Tuscaloosa. So Sunday, here comes the next wave on the front. Got a broad surface low that is over Mississippi. Then by Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, the low begins to deepen just north of Athens, up in southern Tennessee. And again, on that uh, track, that could set the stage for some stronger storms over the southern half of the state if the air can sufficiently destabilize. But the bottom line is, for most of Alabama, just a big soaking. Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, rain amounts one to two inches. And then look at Monday, the upper pattern. Yeah, buddy, here comes that big old deep cold core trough digging in here. The surface low is near Buffalo, New York. And that's going to set up a pretty good little snow there for parts of Indiana, Ohio, down into maybe Kentucky, and maybe parts of Tennessee, maybe a few flurries into North Alabama. But the screaming message Monday is just going to be cold and windy. Temperatures probably falling into the 30s over North Alabama Monday afternoon with an icy north wind. And then this is Tuesday. Uh, we're cold and dry. Uh, for the snow fans, don't get too excited. Again, we certainly could see a few flurries over the northern third of the state Monday afternoon, Monday night, but no accumulation, no impact. Uh, if you're looking for accumulating snow, you want to be up toward uh, Louisville, Cincinnati, Columbus, Cleveland, Detroit, Pittsburgh. Uh, but again, it's certainly going to be cold, and that's the big story. Uh, this is Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday morning, I think the coldest will be low to mid-20s. And then Wednesday, again, we start the day in the 20s. The high Wednesday would be in the 50s. The sky's sunny. A little feature off to the west, but I don't know if there's enough moisture return for any rain with that. This is Thursday. Again, we're dry. This is a week from today, Friday the 4th. 
Another big upper feature that's over West Texas and New Mexico, and for us, we're still dry. But temperatures stay below average even through the end of next week. Now, this is Saturday night, December 5th. And the GFS depicting another surface low rolling through North Alabama and another big soaking if this verifies. And then this is the following day, Sunday the 6th, troughing on the East Coast. That feature is out. And again, maybe a few snow flurries for the Tennessee Valley. And if this happens to verify, and this is 10 days out, this will change. That'd be a big snow for parts of interior New England and Pennsylvania and West Virginia. This is rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble for the next 15 days, the mean between 2 and 3 inches. You can see numbers coming way down next week, highs in the 40s. And again, that deal Monday, that 47, that might be at 6 a.m. I think we wind up in the upper 30s by mid to late afternoon. Uh, 26 Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Colder pockets will be down there closer to 20. And again, we stay below average on through uh, December 7th. In fact, this is the CPC outlook December 4th through the 10th, showing a lot of blue down here, showing temperatures below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We are on a holiday schedule, so just one video per day. We'll have additional notes later today on the blog. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, we'll have newscast today at just 6 and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.